my name is Eleanor and I'm going to walk you through how to use the how to assemble the DIY Thirsty Plant and how to use it. So um, this is the DIY Thirsty Plant. It's a very nice thing to put together because you don't need to solder so it's a very nice inter introduction to circuitry. So when the sensor is dry, when the soil is dry, this means the resistance is very high in the sensor which means um, the electricity can't pass between the two nails and therefore the electricity goes through the MOSFET and then lights up the LED and the LED blinks because it's a special type of blinking LED. But if the ground is wet, then the resistance is very low in the sensor, which means the electricity finds it easier to pass through the sensor and therefore bypasses the LED. So this is due to the MOSFET, which acts as a gate between the LED and the sensor. So when you get your DIY Thirsty Plant Kit, you get it like this. You have nice pieces of information inside and on the back. And if we open it up, You have your acrylic marker, so this is where you put all your circuitry into. It has a nice little diagram there. You get two resistors, two MOSFETs, and two LEDs. So you get two of each just in case um, you, t you twist it incorrectly or you need another one for any reason. Um, they're just spares. And then you get two copper nails for the sensor, a sensor mould, so that's for the plaster of Paris that you then put into it and you get your three pieces of acrylic, so this is the waterproof casing, and sensor cable, which is just copper cable, and your solar panel. So, let's put it all together. So we're going to follow um, our step-by-step -step guide, it's the Thirsty Plant Manual, and you can find this on the resources page of our website. So first we're going to take our plaster of Paris, so we want us to add some water into. So we just want to add about a fifth up of the container. And then what you want to do is add little by little the plaster into the water. So then you go in with a little stirring instrument, it can be a wooden... So now, after leaving it for a while, if we put it in, we can see that it should stay. So you need to wait sometimes for the plaster to harden a little bit before you put the nails in. When your sense is fully dried, um, it should look like this one. So it's still inside its case. And when you want to take it out of the case, you just peel back the plastic and it should come out like that. So this is the acrylic marker that you get in the box. So it has the circuit written on for you. And the little symbols symbolize the different components. So this is the LED. Um, this is for the solar panels, these little sun signs. These are for your sensor, so it has sensor and then pointing to these two holes, and then a MOSFET. And these two are for the Arduino, so that's new for the new Thirsty plant, the facility to put Arduino into it. So we're going to firstly start off with the LED. So the LED is a component that has something called polarity. So this means that it has a long and shorter leg. So the long leg um, is for positive, and the short leg is for negative. We've made this easy for you by putting a positive and negative sign on the board to help keep the component in place if you just bend them 45 degrees. So the second component we want to put in is called a resistor. We can tell the value of the resistor from the stripes of colour which are on it. So this one has yellow, violet, orange and gold. So that means 47 kilo ohms. So we want to put it in the front like this and then bend the legs to keep the component in place. So. The way the thirsty plant works is that you twist components together. So we're going to take the positive leg of the LED and one of the legs of the resistor and just twist them together like this. And that's how you make a connection. So our third component is the solar panel. Um, and with the solar panel, we want to make sure that we firstly put the two cables through the acrylic hole in the top so we can attach the waterproof casing to it at the end. And feed them through. So the red wire is positive and the black wire is negative. This is kind of standard in circuitry. So if we look on the um, board, the positive is here, negative here. So if we th feed the positive through this one from the top, from the front and to the back. And use the plastic to twist the metal. So we want to attach the positive and then the next bit we want to put in is the sensors. 
the sensor leads. You want to feed it in from the front again. So put one leg in here, and the other leg in here, and turn it over. So we want to attach one of the sensors to the resistor. It's pretty much on the circuit. Wherever something needs a connection, it's very close to each other. So it's been designed to make it as easy as possible to connect them up. So let's do the sensor and the resistor first. And then the sensor, the other sensor leg, and the negative solar panel leg. And the last component is the MOSFET. We want to make sure that the metal is going against the LED. And we want to bend the left leg down, the middle leg up, and the right leg down. So that's because we want to attach the negative leg of the LED to the middle leg. And then you want to attach the sensor and the negative of the solar panel to the left leg of the MOSFET. So as you can see, the little LED light is blinking, which means that the circuit is complete. So if you hold the solar panel up to some light, you can see it blinking. So these pieces have little clips, so they squidge in like that from the sides. We firstly want to put position the top acrylic like this, and then the second side, clip it onto the little ear of the acrylic marker, pinch the sides together and clip it on like that, like so. So now you want to secure your solar panel onto the top red bit. So if we just take one part of the sticky off like that, and press it onto the lid, I mean place. And we also want to make sure that we take the film off the solar panel because this makes the solar panel more efficient. So if you use the little pointy bit to stick it into the soil, like that, and your sensor, the same thing, stick it into the soil so it can start measuring moisture. And yeah, there you go. So it's flashing, which means my plant needs watering. So thanks for watching. I hope this tutorial helped you um, put together your own thirsty plant so you can use it in any of your favorite plants at home. Um, leave any comments below if you wanna get in contact with us and happy baking. Gia, meow, meow.